there. That's better. Hey! Hey! Hello? Hello? Is there someone there? Hello? Is there someone there?
Excuse me. You and 
I are the same, James. It's easier just to run than dance. Besides, it's what we deserve. No, I'm not like that. I'm not like you. Huh? Are you afraid? I I'm sorry. No.
here? I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that you're reading? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait, wait, how do you know about Mary? Shows. Is that so? To see the shows? So this really was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Yeah. Oh, don't get so mad. I'm only joking. I guess we just need to look harder. You're looking with me? You were just gonna leave me out there? With all these weird things happening in here? No. Ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah. Fine. Listen to you. Well, big man, did you even look back there? Not yet. I haven't even had a chance. Why do you have to hide out here? It's no good. It won't 
Laura, she knows something.
name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth! Laura, how do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? Why? Are you gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. Me and Mary were friends. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Fine, don't believe me! But last year Mary was already... Laura, I'm sorry. Come on, let's get out of here. This is no place for a kid. I, I can't even believe you don't have a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, no. There's something I gotta get. Later. It's really important. What is it? It's a letter from Mary. What? Yeah, can we get it? Yeah. Okay, come on, hurry up. It's over there. It, it's back here? Yeah, keep going. Further back. Laura! Laura, open up! Damn it, Laura! Open up, you snotty little brat!
It's Mary. Oh. Maria. It's you. I thought you were. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my entire life. No. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No. Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of The Hill Site. Benefit of your fellow audience members, please, no flash. Exciting edition of Benefit of your Good evening, everybody. Another exciting edition of Another exciting edition of Another exciting edition of Thank you, and enjoy the show.
Jewel person ain't no big deal. Just put a gun to their head. <laughs> you. You killed him? No. He made me do it. It wasn't my fault. And you just calm down and tell me what happened. He had it coming. I didn't do anything. He came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with those eyes. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? You can't kill somebody just because of the way they look at you, Eddie. Oh, yeah? Well, why not? Till now, I always let everyone walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. What do you have to come and do? Eddie. I was just kidding, James. No, it was dead when I found him, honest. <laughs> anyway, I gotta run. Wait, you're going out there alone? Yeah. But that red pyramid thing was out there. How do you know about that? Uh, aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, so you're Maria.
Are you okay? Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. You liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. No. I never. No, no, Maria. Mar Maria, what, what happened? No, no, Maria, 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 no, no, please, no, no, no. You 
too, Jinx. I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been making fun of me from the beginning. Ever since we first met. Do you know what it does to you, Jinx? To be laughed at? Hated? Spit on just because of the way you look? You make fun of your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed that dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. Do you know what? It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts out. Got him curled up in a ball. Then he came. So I shot him too. Right in the knee. Right more than the dog did. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have a hard time playing football with what's left of that knee. Eddie, you think it's okay to kill people? You need help. Don't get all holy on me, James. This place called you here, too. You and me, we're the same. We're not like other people. Now. Please tell me. So 
tired of looking. I wish I knew. But she said in her letter. What letter? Do you want to read it? But you can't tell Jeremy, okay? Who's Jeremy? He was... He was our... He was a nurse. I took it from his cubby backstage. Dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Jeremy to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on Jeremy. Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me. Please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little rough sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. A friend forever. died three years ago. Could, could she really be here? Mary and I used to talk all the time about the Hillside Theater. She even showed me all of her pictures. She really wanted to come back. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. I must have dropped it. I can't find it. I gotta go. Laura. There's still no effective treatment for her condition. 
How long does she have? I'm not sure. Three years, perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty. I didn't do this to her. I'm clean, you know that. We won't know anything until the tests come back. Mary? What do you want, James? I... I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home. Mary, what do you say? Look at me! I'm disgusting! I don't deserve flowers! I look like a monster! Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here! Leave me alone already! I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they just kill me, but I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go. Are you deaf? Don't come back. James, wait. Please, don't go. Don't leave me alone. I, I didn't mean what I said. Please, James. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. James, did you find the letter? Have you found Mary? If not, let's just get going, okay? Mary's not here. She's gone. That's a lie. You're a liar. No. She... she died because she was sick. No. I killed her. I hate you! I hate you so much, James! She was always waiting for you! Why? Why? I hate you! I hate you, James! Bring her back to me! I... Laura. I'm... I'm sorry. Mary, you know, isn't here. Hot as hell in here. You feel it too. For me, it's all the same. Thank you. 
that's what they wanted. They wanted to see you, even an illusion of you. That's not true, is it? Watch you suffer. <coughs> Don't make excuses, James. I know I was a burden on you. You must have hated me. That's why you got rid of me. Locked me in here while I burned. I may have had some of those feelings. <coughs> it was a long three years. I was tired. And that's why you needed this Maria person? You never even told me why I got so sick. James, do you really think I could ever forgive you for what you did? You brought this on yourself. Did I? Then dance with me, James. Dance with me.
In my restless dreams, I'm there with you again at the Hillside Theater, but you're nowhere to be found. I'm alone there now, looking for you, waiting for you. I know I've done a terrible thing to you, something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here waiting for you. Every day, all I can think about is how unfair it all is. Jeremy came today. I know how much you hate him, but it isn't his fault. He said I need to go back to the hospital again. It's not that I'm getting better, it's just that this may be my last chance. But I'm afraid, James. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. We made wonderful art together. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told Jeremy to give this to you after I'm gone. I can't tell you to remember me, but I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I, I'm so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. You made me happy.